the lighting but hard to find a good parking spot because of the sunrise but welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here definitely make sure you are subscribed and stick around I'm starting my morning off at orange theory i woke up at woke up at 7 it's 9 24 now my class starts at 9 30 and just had like a morning to myself ended up reading for like an hour which was nice i started reading um we were liars very good book so far the thing about we were liars is you really have to pay attention like you can't just kind of like be sidetracked while you're reading like you know how you're reading and sometimes you like start thinking about something else and you're like oh my god i have to like go back and reread like you cannot do that in this book it is you have to have your attention on it at all times and i really like that um it's a, just like such a good escape mechanism like i love reading i'm reading's the best thing that's ever happened to me and i literally started reading in september so i've read four books and I'm literally so proud of myself. It's also such like an accomplishing feeling when you finish a book. So anyways, if you have any good um, thriller recommendations, I'm not really into romance. I mean, I might be, I guess I haven't tried it, but just in general, like romantic movies, like rom-coms, I can do but they're not like my favorite like I'd rather watch a psychological thriller or a scary movie or like a mystery or stuff like that so that's obviously the kind of books that I like gravitate towards so um, after this I'm reading The Wife Between Us if you follow me on Instagram I've been doing like book reviews and like my book lineups and I think I'm gonna end up doing a YouTube video um, about like books and stuff <laughs> but anyways um, I am gonna go in for my workout Saturday morning Yesterday was ESP, so I'm hoping today's endurance. I love endurance days. I've blow dried the sweat out of my hair because we have things to do today. Um, okay, I would first off like to say that at this point in the game, I would pretty much consider myself very stressed out because we're doing a lot of wedding planning stuff right now and just like a lot of payments are due, which honestly is just stressful. You know, like it's gonna happen, like we have to pay for it because it's like a wedding and stuff, but like I just, it just adds stress and then we're moving and working and Colin's filming his short film. I don't know if I told you guys that. Colin's like filming this huge video right now and we've just have so much going on that for some reason I just am like so stressed. Like when I lay my head down on the pillow at night, all I can think about is everything going on. How I want to decorate the apartment, how I need to do this, 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 this is just like so much stuff. And stress can do an enormous amount of things to the body okay because at orange theory before like all of these things started happening i was cruising i felt like i was in such good shape and then i was like getting back to it and now that i'm like stressed out and i know it holy i just like have been having terrible workouts and it's because i am stressed i know it so today or this weekend really i'm gonna do my best to really get ahead of the game and like get a shit ton of things done so i can alleviate my stress levels that's a very big goal. But seriously, I had 30 splat points today and I haven't gotten 30 splat. I didn't even get 30 splat points like the first time I went back to Orange Theory from like COVID. So either way, and I just like feel it in my chest, like my chest is super tight and that happens to me when I'm stressed out and I'm breaking out right here. So I know that I'm stressed and that's like the cause of everything. And so I'm just like listening to my body, gonna decompress, not gonna work out tomorrow, gonna get a deep stretch in. I'm completely out of protein, so I might just like go walk to Whole Foods quick and get some more, cause I have my Alani new shipment, but it's not in yet. So anyway, I'm just relaying information that if you're super stressed out and you're having bad workouts, it's cause you're stressed. <laughs> That's what's happening to me. And it's really smart to try and alleviate stress. That is my goal this weekend. I just sprinted to Whole Foods. I think I'm gonna get a camera tripod on Amazon today because I just need like a small one. I don't need a huge one, you know? So I tried this. I'm also like so tired of squatting down right here. I tried this protein when I went to visit Haven. She had it and since my order is not gonna come for a while, I just decided to pick up a little one. It's Terrace Way. Terra Way? I, maybe it's Terra Way and the S is silent. I don't really know, but it is organic whey protein. 
there's 21 grams of protein it's gluten free and um when i tried it at her house i really liked it also there is three grams of sugar but that's like not that big of a deal so anyway if you don't really like a lot of new protein which i don't know why because it's so good but if you're looking for protein i got this at whole foods and i mean i've had it before obviously and i really liked it so I would recommend personally haven loves it she has vanilla and she has chocolate she really likes chocolate so in case you needed another protein option this is a good one I'm making my pre post not pre post workout smoothie putting brooke michio's new vlog on the tv while i do it and then it's already almost 12. i don't know where the day went it's already almost 12. i have a nail appointment at one i'm gonna go and try and get the same color on my nails as i have on my toes i promise i don't go to the nail salon and like all the time but it's just time anyway no appointment at one and then i need to kind of get ready for it i think i'm gonna get ready for the day that way i just like stay motivated colin's filming like i said so it's pretty much just me here all day eating dinner alone i think i'm gonna get chipotle okay i'm gonna quickly make this smoothie so i have time to shower and do my makeup and stuff guys i'm so upset i'm back on the shitty lens <laughs> i like it just mm. Do you remember how long it took me to convince you to try out my lens? Yeah. Um, I completely forgot that Colin films with the lens, so shit. But, I mean, whatever. This is my outfit. My shirt is from Free People Movement, but I rented it from Newly. But it's honestly really, really cute. So, here's the fit. Anyways, I'm going to go get my nails done. Jokes aside, the clouds literally look like Toy Story clouds. I'm so serious. Look at this. What the heck? They look so cute. I can honestly say I literally hate this lens. And Colin's Chick-fil-A is in the back seat. I told him I'm not throwing it away for him. He can throw it away. Genuinely can say that this person has had six chances to turn and they've taken none of the six, but it's okay. We're not upset. And also for some reason, like I just start getting ready way before I should. And I just like have been taking my sweet time so much lately that I'm always late lately and it's just unacceptable. So I really need to get my shit together. I think that there is a slight chance that I won't be late, but I don't know because I just hit a red light. So we will see. Anyways, I just need to start really speeding through my get readies i guess gonna stop by home depot i think and get some boxes i'm not getting like a ton of boxes because tomorrow colin and i are gonna go run to my dad's house because since they well they didn't just move but they moved like a little bit ago but since they moved they still have moving boxes so my dad was like you should come and get some boxes probably one because they don't want them anymore <laughs> and two that way i don't have to like pay for a bunch of boxes all right i'm done had to run into Target really quick because we're out of toothpaste. I'm dying because this literally is red. <laughs> if you watched my last vlog, you would know that like I hate getting the color red, but I tried to match my toes as best as I could. Okay, like in person it looks more pink, but it's red. I'm like freaking out. It just, honestly, I thought that it was gonna look totally different <laughs> than it did. I hate when that happens when you're like looking on the thing and it looks one color and then you put it on your fingers and it's like totally different but whatever there's literally nothing i can do about it so it's fine do i love it maybe not but there's i just too late now so okay i'm gonna go home i was gonna stop by home depot on the way home but i literally have to pee so bad and i'm starving so i think i might just run and get boxes later um i'm shocked by my nail i pretty much am like out of food i really need to go to trader joe's but i just don't really have time today that might be a tomorrow thing but the company daring sent me like meatless chicken it's plant-based chicken that's what i should have said it's 100 plant-based chicken and i have yet to try it so i figured i'd try it today because i'm completely out of chicken so I think I'm going to give it a shot. And it says, okay, where does it tell you how to make it? Okay. Um, heat a pan with a little bit of oil on medium heat, high heat for 10 to 12 minutes. Okay, this is what the chicken looks like. It, it looks a little weird, not gonna lie, but whatever. I'll just do like a little bit and you can't really tell but there's a ton of dirty dishes in there so I figured I'll just do them while that cooks 
figure out what I want to eat with the chicken. We do have a salad, but I, I guess I could do salad. I don't know. I'll figure it out. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> we'll see about that. Okay, here's what my lunch looks like, but I haven't tried the chicken yet. So, I guess I'll try this chicken. It honestly looks really weird. Hmm. Oh. Is it weird that I think it tastes like a McDonald's chicken nugget? I don't like hate it. I think I just need to get used to it. To update you guys, I just, I like real chicken, so I think it's hard for me to enjoy fake chicken. You know what I mean? So I don't, I'd give that maybe like a six out of ten for me but that's also my personal preference like i'm sure other people who actually are like vegetarian and stuff really like it so i mean it's a definitely like a good option i just didn't love so i just realized i completely forgot to take the rest of my vitamins this morning i took one that needs to be taken on an empty stomach but the other ones i like completely forgot about but that's Okay, it's whatever. Um, but I've been taking the care of ones for a couple weeks now. I think it's been like two maybe. And I actually really do like them. So I'm glad that I bought them. It's like not sponsored or anything. I personally invested because I wanted um, new vitamins. And then I've just like heard so much about it. So I figured I would give them a shot. But yeah, I really, really like them. And I like that you pretty much get to like pick and take exactly what you want to take. So yeah that's the update on that here the rest are and the one i take earlier is ashwagandha and then i take calcium plus a probiotic blend fish oil keratin for the hair skin and nails and magnesium I have seriously been obsessed with the liquid IV energy multiplier drinks. They sent this to me, but it's in the flavor lemon ginger. And if I'm in the mood for coffee, I'll drink coffee. But also this is like literally so delicious and refreshing and it like wakes me up. So I'm about to have one of these because I'm like starting to get super tired. It's 3.10 and I really want to get like a huge mason jar because mine broke. I was looking for one today at Target when I went to go get more toothpaste and they didn't have mason jars out. Like they were just missing. And I actually really recommend though. There's some liquid IV flavors that I'm not obsessed with, but the lemon ginger one is really good. So anyways, I've been drinking this. I think I'm gonna sit here and just kind of relax for a second before I go get some boxes and start packing. Take a quick relaxing chill pill. And then I guess we will start packing. I'm kind of dreading packing. So I'm trying to just like avoid it. But I also feel like I could fall asleep right now, so. Kind of brushing out my hair a little bit. I was freezing, so I just threw on a jean jacket. Guys, I'm telling you, I literally can't wait to move. So, okay, the last video you saw was, like, our moving vlogs and stuff. Our apartment is a literal dream. Like, my dream apartment, I feel like I hardcore manifested that. I hate when the shower curtains open. But I kept telling Colin, I was like, I'm not worried because the perfect place will pop up. And I've been saying this for months, and the perfect place literally popped up. I also bought the Jumbo Summer Fridays jet lag mask. Look at how big this mask is. I just had to show you guys because... My order just came in from Sephora, and then I also wanted to show you because I ordered a new lip combo. Here I go again, not knowing how to properly put up the lighting on my camera. So I ordered the new, like a new fall shade of a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. Okay, the lighting looks really cool right now, but it's a Charlotte Tilbury lipstick and lip liner. I figured I should put it on what is going on um, <clears throat> and like actually get ready for the day the liner is an iconic nude and the lipstick I got is in very Victoria I'm gonna put it on really quick and then I will show you guys I guess I could just put it on in the camera I'm just gonna put it on here I don't know where to put lip liner on if you go like this it'll like outline your lips pretty much and then it's like easier to 
Okay, I'm kind of blind. I need to get in the camera. So now I'm gonna go in with Very Victoria. Okay, here's the lip combo. I'm obsessed with it for fall. I literally love it. Okay, so the plan is Colin took all of our camera batteries. I could go, no, I know he did. Colin took all of our camera batteries with him for his video and the only one I have is in my camera and it's almost dead. So while I go get more boxes, I'm gonna let you all charge. And then we can kind of do like a packing thing together when I get back. Actually though, really quick. So I told you guys I got this shirt from Free People Movement and I um, rented it from Newly. I wanted to show you the other stuff I rented too. So um, this literally still has the tag on it. It's from the brand Ichi or something like that. But it's a corduroy jacket and it's literally so stinking cute. And then I also got this green crop top that is also a button up which is adorable this is from the brand tatch tatch clothing or Tatch. i have no idea and then from urban this came undone oops and now it's stuck to my bracelet but it's a black crop top that like buttons kind of in the front it like clicks in the front i guess i could just put it on together for you guys Okay, I'll just do a couple, but it looks like this basically, and I thought it'd be cute with jeans. I got a pair of, oh my gosh, these have a tag on it too. Like, am I supposed to take the tag off? If I wear it, I'm so confused. Okay, these are just free people mom jeans. They look like that. I think that they might be too big for me though. Ever since I got off of birth control, I just stopped taking the pill. I'm getting an IUD next week, but ever since I stopped taking the pill, I swear to God, I've lost like 10 pounds. And then I also got this really pretty dress from, yeah, it's for Love and Lemons. How cute is this dress? Literally so cute. Okay, sorry the lighting is like god awful right now, but it's like that across the entire room. So anyways, that's the stuff that I rented this month from Newly. I'm back. Me trying to get, it was just six boxes. I didn't get more than six because I said, I don't think I can handle more than six by myself. I'm not even kidding. They're right there. Um, also, I just wanted to say that Melena Ciciotti and Jordan, Melena and Jordan Ciciotti, just revealed what Jordan's old job used to be. And I literally knew he was in the Secret Service. Like I just had a, just an idea because like his job was such high profile and they never like talked about it. I was like, he must be in the Secret Service. I thought the CIA, but I really was like the Secret Service and he was in the Secret Service. So I just think I'm like the smartest person ever. Just kidding, I'm sure other people might have guessed that. And if you don't follow Melina Ciciotti, you really should because her kids are freaking cute and like one of my favorite families to follow. Here's our boxes. This was like hell in a handbag for me to get this up the freaking stairs and do everything. <laughs> get it into my car, had to put the seats down. Boxes are like no freaking joke, okay? <laughs> Anyways, I only got six. Also because we're going to my dad's tomorrow and he might have some. I didn't know how many I was going to get from him. So I like didn't want to like get too many and then it's not have enough. But I don't think six is going to be enough. So we'll just see what happens tomorrow. But I'm about to like put music on and just start packing. I think I'm going to start the office first. I'm going to start like stuff that we like don't really use. So the office will go first. I think I might be selling this clothing rack. I don't know. I don't think it has a home for it. In our new apartment there's just no room and i would like a different clothing rack i don't know if i even want a clothing rack for my office either like this was simply here because we literally like needed more storage for our coats and stuff and my purse to hang but i don't think we need that the new apt so we will see i walked around home depot for a very long time trying to find these boxes too and then i finally asked for help so yeah anyways those boxes were a chore but now i know where they are they're honestly not that expensive like it sucks to have to buy moving boxes but you know it's okay i'd rather have a bunch of big boxes i'd rather have not that many big boxes than a bunch of little boxes so i'm fine with buying like the heavy duty ones okay so where where to begin that is the question of the hour isn't it all right you know I know I want to like start in this area. <laughs> I'm literally losing my mind. This definitely is not going to fit. So it'll fit like that though. <laughs> Love it.
candy blow. That just took me so long. What the heck? <laughs> Okay, I've made a lot of progress as you can kind of see I really have though I'm proud of myself but I'm gonna go run and get some dinner from Chipotle because I'm starting to get really hungry and then kind of take like I think I just might be done for the day with like all of the moving stuff packing up and I need to edit a video for tomorrow and I just really want to read my book because it's good so yeah anyways heading to Chipotle because hungry don't want to cook Okay, she's over there. I literally get the most plain bowl ever. <laughs> like seriously, rice, chicken, black beans, sour cream, and lettuce. But I just like it that way. I also got small chips and guac. Essential. All right, I am uploading my apartment tours video right now as we speak It's uploading to the external hard drive and then I upload it to YouTube and I'm watching Princess Diaries in the background Before I was watching this like while I was eating I watched American Murder and it was so disturbing It's like okay, I need to watch like something way different. So I put on Princess Diaries and um, now that I did that, I'm definitely about to shower and just do my night routine and then read my book and have like a relaxing rest of the night. Okay, so my plan is for once we move, I'm going to do a skincare routine, but it's going to be a wedding series video about how I'm getting my skin ready for the wedding and what my skincare routine is and all of that stuff and put it into one because honestly like I've gotten so into skincare and I think it's because of the wedding and it's just like this whole new hobby of mine is like skincare so yeah I had never really been I'm trying to clean up a little bit I had never really been like that much of a skincare type of person like I put moisturizer on my face and I wash my face but as far as like hyaluronic acid and a bunch of really good products for your skin like oils vitamin e oil stuff like that i never used before we got engaged and then after that i was like oh my god i want good skin so stress breakouts we love those <laughs> hopefully that won't happen closer to the wedding but um yeah anyways i am but i will show you guys that and i'm waiting until the new place because like obviously i'm very excited about our new filming space my new um filming space and bathroom and things like that this bathroom is like so freaking pretty so yeah that will be definitely coming soon it is on my list of vids to film but i'm gonna do my skincare i still have like a little bit of mascara all over my face so <laughs> need to get rid of that by the way this sweatshirt is from feet f-e-a-t it is literally so comfy all right i have a edited the video, scheduled it to upload. Now I am getting into bed. Hello, I've got my book over here. Our room is a disaster. It's moving. Um, okay, so I'm gonna sit here and read until I fall asleep. It's, oh shoot, I forgot to put my ring up. It's pretty much 10, so I'm assuming I'll be asleep here in like 15 minutes. But yeah, I'm on page 81. I started reading yesterday. So, so far so good. I really like this book, by the way. Morning. All right, she's dark. Okay, back on the normal lens. Hello. We are up and at him this morning. Colin got back late from filming his video. Mm -hmm. I was like already sleeping when he got back. Um, and now we're gonna head to my dad's to go get some boxes. This is our outfits. outfits of the day. Yes. My o OTD. O OTD. My <laughs> Um, sage green flannel thing is from a Princess Polly and then I'm wearing my naked fashion jeans because they're really really good and this bodysuit is from Petal and Pup and my shoes are is it Dulce or Dolce can someone tell me they're Dolce Vita anyways I know I don't know I've heard people say Dulce and I've heard people say Dolce so who knows and then I guess I could flip it on the agenda for today we are going to take the wallpaper off the wall and try and get the stain out of the carpet that's our goals for today two simple tasks Colin was so surprised though by how much i did when he was gone like when he came home and all the plants and all that stuff was over there he was like oh my god you did so much 
that was shocking. I was like, yeah. I was crushing it yesterday. So, we're making the trek over to my dad's house. Probably we'll get some type of food while we're out. I'm not hungry yet, but I bet we will be. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. Say hello. She's getting so big. It's not bad. What do you think? Yeah, it's not bad. What are you thinking? What are you thinking? It's always hard to find a good case of dough. Yeah. Stopping at Trader Joe's. Hey guys. <laughs> Con's appearance. Trader Joe's must have gotten new bags. They're reusable, which is nice. Okay, we're pulling the wallpaper off. I wonder if we can just wash the wall. Oh, no. God. <sighs> well, shit. This is going to be fantastic. Well, they can just repaint the wall. All right, we just weren't expecting that to happen. <laughs> Okay, so I guess while he takes the wallpaper off the wall, I'll show you guys what we just picked up from Trader Joe's. A lot of it was like the same old, same old, but I'll just tell you like, but I'll just breeze through it, I guess. Um, Colin got vegetable fried rice because he makes that for lunch like all the time. Okay, <laughs> got more gnocchi. I'm just gonna lay this all over there. Not good. Maybe if you pull it slower. We got some chicken chili verde burritos. Do you think that would help? I don't know what you, what? If you pulled it like really slow. No. I was just asking you a question. Oh my gosh, he got three, oh okay. We got um, the chicken chili verde burritos and then also just the regular chicken burritos. I like these and call them like the verde ones. Just letting you know. Um, Colin got some cheese, some shredded cheese, and then everything but the bagel dip and uh, buffalo chicken dip is like our routine. I'm literally saving these back, so I wonder if because of COVID they'll let us bring them back in so we can reuse them. So why would they give us really nice reusable bags if we had to throw them away? I don't know. Okay, spinach, which isn't new. This chicken sausage breakfast burrito is new though and I just really wanted to try it out. Oh my god, it's a lot of calories. Babe, do you want to split this with me one day? Okay, we got a ton of meat and chicken just for dinners. So we actually don't have a HelloFresh box coming this week because I didn't really think any of the meals looked really good. So I just passed up on it and we can just cook at home, which is totally fine. I got some blackberries and some strawberries um we got some shrimp because we're gonna do like shrimp pasta um one day for dinner and um we got some shredded hash browns for colin i don't know why but i'm just like addicted to this pizza from trader joe's i think it's really good we got some more chicken caesar salad kits For our dips, oat milk, and more spinach, bananas, we got avocados, two things of avocados this time because I ran out, okay. This time we're going to try out the brownie truffle baking mix. We've never had this one, we love the blondies, but... I'm excited to try this one. Oh my gosh, no one told me my hair was coming out in the back. I wonder how long it's been like that for. No one told me. Babe, how long has my hair been coming out of the bun? Tortillas. We did get some hand soap because we were running low. It's lemon scented and then also JoJo's. And then some potatoes. So that was our Trader Joe's haul for the vlog. Okay. Oh, it like ripped off sideways. Okay, so I looked up how to get 
self tanning stains out of carpet and it said two cups of water to one tablespoon of dish soap and it should get it out and it did here's you guys knew what it looked like before here's the after i came in here and scrubbed it and i'm just having colin scrub it more because he's stronger than me <laughs> but obviously <laughs> i'd hope so i hope you're stronger than me <laughs> <I love you. laughs> anyway so we are scrubbing and uh, I think like th mostly the next stuff on my to-do list is to sell all okay. my stuff on Poshmark. I'm just good. waiting and for if it, like if we need to go over it again, we'll just go over it again. Okay. I'm just waiting for all of the packing stuff that I ordered from USPS, which is free by the way, so that's pretty cool. I'm just waiting for all that to deliver because I don't want to like sell stuff and then have you guys waiting for me to ship it out. Like I want to have it at the same time that I can ship stuff out. So, sorry, I was like really bright there. So that is pretty much what we're waiting on with that. And then I'm gonna try and like minimize as much clothes as I have. And then we will pretty much be all set with putting everything in boxes. I'm waiting to put stuff in boxes though so I can like get my life together. Like we're gonna have a bedroom box, a kitchen box, a decor box, things like that. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm happy we got the stain out of the carpet though. So far, I'm pretty sure it looks good. I wanna see how cold it is outside. Oh, it feels good. I'm gonna sit out here and read my book. I always get this chair and we just take it outside. For the new house though, the new house, the new apartment, I do wanna get a patio set. I really wanna get like a love seat because our patio is bigger, like a lot bigger than this. I think I don't, I don't remember but I want to get like a love seat and a side chair that's like light wood and then white cushions and then I think we're gonna put that circle jute rug that's right there from Urban Outfitters outside and have a little seating area because that's one thing I definitely wish we had in this apartment but I was just lazy and I didn't want to buy anything because I knew that we weren't gonna be here for more than a year I knew that we would end up moving but now that we have like the big apartment, I definitely want to have a patio set and I sit out there and take advantage of the weather too because when we move it'll be nice up until like, well honestly, it doesn't get very cold here. Like it gets cold but not super cold. I can't get this chair out. Okay, I'm that far into the book by the way, about halfway. So that's really nice. I'm just going to set my stuff here and probably leave the door open and read we just finished we were liars i remember i couldn't remember what book someone messaged me saying you might cry but now i definitely think it was we were liars so i really liked the book it was about like 250 pages so it's kind of quick read but um the writing style is really different you have to really pay attention when you're reading it which was cool and i definitely like Towards the end of the book, I started to catch on to what was happening, but also towards the end of the book, it gets kind of sad, but it's, like, cool how everything happened, and, like, when you're reading it, you don't realize, like, when you get to the end and you realize what happened, and then you think back to everything you read and everything starts to, like, make sense. Um, this wasn't my favorite book that I've read because it was sad at the end, but it was, like, a cool concept. I'll say that. So, you know. I'm glad I read it, but it's just like, Verity is the best book I've ever read so far. Just, if you're gonna read something, read Verity. A weird one. <laughs> I don't care. Okay, so for dinner, we made buffalo chicken tenders in the air fryer. And then also we're eating a Caesar salad with it. Oh, goodness. Thank you. Let's put our, this is what our counter looks like when we're moving. Anyway, so I'm just gonna add the dressing. And then here's dinner. You know, I'm not gonna lie, I just realized, because I know you said something about the shelves, and I didn't realize it earlier. Like, that I took the shelves yeah, down? Yeah, that they were like, you took them down. You didn't realize? Not until you brought it up earlier. I just forgot to tell you. Oh, I thought you meant all day today you didn't realize. No, no, just no. Now. Yeah, I took a lot of stuff down. So we can start. Um, it's because someone's really excited about moving. Yeah, I'm literally so excited. <laughs> I'm just excited for all the space we're going to have. Yeah, the trash comes today. I'm excited to be... Can you try and put as many trash bags as you can out there, please? 
we've got a lot of trash bags anyway i'm just excited for you guys know the decorating the new space the new things that are happening there because that'll be the place when we that will be the place we live in sorry you can't see me but that will be the place that we are in when we get married and when we get a dog and a lot of fun things will happen like in this next place of ours we were in this place when we got engaged and we moved in together for the first time and now we will be in the next place when we get married and just a dog no other huge life events but um yeah it's just an exciting time moving is a fun thing so lately we have been re-watching stranger things so it all hopes that the newest season comes out soon that's what we've been doing i have faith that it might come out soon all right are you ready to divide the plates up and everything ready what oh yeah put the stuff on the plates i'm gonna go check on the stain in our room and see if it's better oh yeah it's completely gone okay that's good that is some good stuff hello guys i skipped vlogging yesterday yesterday just like wasn't my day i was just was feeling down and stressed out extremely stressed out and you know today's already so much better so i'm gonna re-pick up the vlog today yesterday honestly was just like a big computer work day too like nothing really crazy happened i don't think we didn't have like anything else like that so with con work i worked it was just like that something new though i did start another book so now i'm reading the wife between us but i've only read two chapters like i literally just started it and we are starting the podcast back up if you have any solo episode ideas for me definitely comment them below but it's just gonna be me i feel like i should have wesley in on here too maybe we can talk about like being engaged and getting married in an episode or something like that so i'm gonna sit here and record the pod so we can get it up for you guys oh i definitely need some water because i've already tried to record this once but i didn't really like it and i was out of breath so now i'm gonna try it again in the, on colin's computer okay so i have my little situation set up out here i've been just doing some computer work outside but i just stopped because i'm getting kind of hungry so i'm gonna probably make a snack here in a minute but the podcast episode is officially up and live so that's good and i recently always write in like a journal like my to-do list and things like that and i ran out of room so i wanted to show you guys the new one i'm using it's by create and cultivate you can get it at target they actually sent it to me but i've been waiting to run out of pages in my other one um, but I'm excited to use this because there's a little bookmark and then there's also a place for you to write notes and then follow-ups So that's cool. So I think I'm gonna write a to-do list for today I really want to sell my clothes on Poshmark and I'm waiting for the packaging stuff to come in until I do that And so I like in my head I was thinking I should take a break on the packing and things like that So I can sell all the clothes and just get that done with and then we'll like actually put everything into boxes this weekend Um yeah, I also placed an Amazon order and I ordered another book and a tripod like a smaller one for my camera So I'm excited about that. It's like the one literally everyone uses like I got it from the link off of Aspen over its YouTube videos so today is kind of a slower day tomorrow since i'm not vlogging over the like the next couple days i figured i'd tell you guys what's going on so tomorrow i have an appointment for my first um alterations appointment for my wedding dress and i also have a conference call with my management team and then the next day after that i am getting the iud and let's see and then also i think and then this Friday, Colin and I are going on the She's the Boss podcast. And then we're also going on another, or I'm just going on another podcast the next week on the 13th. And then we move the 15th. So lots of things happening. Lots of exciting. Lots of crazy things for sure. I think I'm just going to wait and shower later because I honestly didn't sweat very much at the gym today. So I'm just going to like be comfy. I might go for an afternoon walk because it's so nice out and listen to a podcast or something like that. But yeah, I also don't know what I'm going to make for lunch. <sighs> Basically, since I had like a really bad day yesterday and i mean i did get a lot of things done but i was just having a very bad day like a very low mental health day like i was very upset easily emotional just kind of like very negative mindset i'm kind of taking today to like 
just go through the motions and like make sure I'm constantly being happy. I might go for a walk and then like take a lunch break and come read my book on the porch and then just maybe, or patio, just maybe read like a couple chapters. But some days you just have to like take those days and just like say like, okay, my best isn't like looking so hot today like I did yesterday. And then today I'm like, okay, my best is gonna be a little bit better. So I had a really productive work morning and now I'm gonna take like a kind of slower afternoon and then hit it hard again with the work. I have to edit this video and upload it so it's ready to go for you guys. I'm also gonna go to my apartment complex before we move in and film the empty apartment tour. They're gonna let me come and film it so I'm not stressed out the day that we move, which is really nice of them. And my mom wants to see it because she is going to a wedding the weekend we move in anyway. So that's happening later this week too. So just like a lot of things going on, this is like my only day of the week that's like not super busy. So I'm kind of taking advantage of it and getting a lot of things done in the apartment and just kind of like taking a self mental health like restart day because I need it for sure. I've just been so stressed out that I've been just, like when you get so stressed out, it's very easy to adapt to negative thoughts and feelings and things like that. And so that's just, what I've, I've just been like down and discouraged and things like that. And it's like weird because I have a lot to look forward to. Like we have the wedding and we're moving into this amazing apartment that I'm so excited about. And like all those things are great, but it's like at the end of the day, how you're truly feeling inside. It doesn't matter if you have like an amazing apartment and it doesn't matter if you're planning like some big extravagant wedding, like those are materialistic things. I did a motivational quote the other day that's like, the um, best things in life aren't things at all. And like truly when you have so much going on and you're so stressed and you have so much on your plate and you have so much that you have to worry about, it's like really easy to like get really down and to feel really overwhelmed and really stressed out. And like stress is a lot on the body. Like I was telling you guys about how my workouts were really bad. Like it really truly affects your body in a very negative way. And I felt it the most yesterday plus had my period. So I feel like I just need a day of like a very slow paced like not that much on the to-do list doing whatever my heart desires and working at the same time like you just don't get to stop working one day because you want to you know like when you work you have to work but just kind of like being forgiving today and adapting a really happy mindset and today I'm having a very very good day and I feel fine and I feel happy and I had a good workout by myself this morning Colin didn't sleep at all last night he kept tossing and turning I feel bad so I woke up and I went to the gym this morning and he was like yeah I'm gonna take today off so I had like the morning to myself and it was really nice and anyway Sometimes you just got to do whatever you got to do to make yourself happy again, you know? Whatever you do, do it for you. That was my quote this morning on the Instagram. Makeup. I'm actually doing using Lauren Conrad makeup, so... I'm going to end this vlog so I can edit it and get it up for you guys so you guys can watch it tomorrow. But definitely make sure you are subscribed and stick around. We're moving next week, so... Get ready for the moving vlogs. I'm excited. Thank you guys so much for watching though, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.